A group of demonstrators in France is demanding the extradition of a retired priest to Canada. That priest is accused of sexually abusing Inuit children in Nunavut in the 1960s and 70s. An Inuit-led movement to see him stand trial here is now getting some support from French activists. Juanita Taylor has the latest. On a sidewalk in Lyon, a man spray paints a stenciled image of a priest with a nude boy and girl in front of a retirement home. It's the residence of Johannes Rivoir, a retired priest accused of abusing Inuit children in Nunavut in the 1960s and 70s. On the sidewalk, a message in French saying, here lives J. Rivoir. Canada is asking for his extradition. France is refusing. Some people who live in this neighborhood were very shocked that uh, this guy uh, lived here. Among Dean Saint-Vincent is an activist with the Be Brave France movement, campaigning to end childhood sexual violence. When the group learned that their government would not grant Canada's request to extradite Rivoire, a French-Canadian, they organized this protest. This act of solidarity surprised Steve Mapsalak, one of the Inuit delegates in France last September to demand Rivoire's extradition. He says locals assured them they would take up the cause. I felt good and it felt good that we are being supported and they, and they kept their word. Another delegate, Tanya Tungilik, whose late father had accused Rivoire of sexual abuse, says she cried when she heard about it. Feeling more hopeful today? It just really brightened up my whole day. <laughs> the Be Brave France movement has launched an online petition demanding Rivoire's extradition. Juanita Taylor, CBC News, Yellowknife.